Hello parents and carers and welcome to this presentation that focuses on phonics in year two. The main aims of the presentation are to share how phonics is taught at Grange Primary School, to develop an understanding of the letters and sounds phonics system, to develop an understanding of how phonics supports the progression in reading and to share ideas about how you can support your child. So what is phonics? Phonics is the link between letters and the sounds they make. When the letter sounds have been taught, they can be blended together to read words. Although there are 26 letters in our alphabet, the English language has 44 phonemes. Now I'm going to go through some of the key vocabulary that the children would be using in class. Phonemes, the sounds letters make. Graphemes, the letters used to write a sound. Digraph, two letters that go together to make a new sound. The letters A and I together make the sound A. Trigraph, these are three letters that go together to make a new sound. The letters I, G and H together make the sound I. Special friends. This is the term that refers to any digraph or trigraph. So if you were looking at a word and you're asked to underline the special friend, in the word night, the special friend would be I. Split digraph. These are two letters that go together to make a sound that have been split. This is the split digraph A. If we wrote the word make, we would write M, mm, and then we'd have our split digraph A, which would be separated by the K, M, mm, A, K, make. Chatty friends. This is a term that refers to any split digraph. In the word mistake, the chatty friend would be the A split digraph. Letters and Sounds is a phonics programme that is taught in early years and through Key Stage 1. The Letters and Sounds programme is divided into six phases, with each phase building on the skills and knowledge of previous learning. Phase 1 concentrates on developing children's speaking and listening skills. There are seven aspects within the phase. This phase is taught in nursery. Phase 2. Sounds are introduced in sets. These are the phase two sounds that are introduced in reception. Phase three, the final sets of sounds that are represented by single letters are taught with the addition of the z and the k. The consonant digraphs are taught and the vowel digraphs and trigraphs. Phase four, there are no new sounds taught in this phase. The focus is on using the sounds the children already know to read longer words like these. Each phase has focused tricky words. These are the phase two tricky words, phase three tricky words and phase four tricky words. You can't sound these out. You need to look at them and remember them. We play games to help the children remember these like pears and snap. Phase five. In this phase, new digraphs and split digraphs are taught. Year two have been learning these sounds in the autumn term and they've been practicing applying these. These are the phase five tricky words. Phase six. At the start of phase six, children will have already learnt the most frequently occurring grapheme phoneme correspondences in the English language. They will be able to read many familiar words automatically. At this stage, the children should be able to spell words phonomically, although not always correctly. In phase six, the main aim is for the children to become more fluent readers and more accurate spellers. They learn tenses and spellings of common and polysyllabic words. There is a big focus on teaching suffixes. This phase is also taught in year two. This term, the children have been learning the phase five sounds. This is a phase five sound mat. We use read, write, ink sound cards and phrases to help the children learn the sounds. Now I'm going to go through some of the strategies and activities that would we'll be used in class to teach phonics. Fred talk. 
This is a strategy that the children use to help them read unknown words. This is where they segment the word, which is saying each sound within the word to help them read it. For example, with this word, they would say sk, r, e, m, scream. Fred in your head is another strategy that is used to help the children develop fluency in reading. They would sound out the word again, but they would do this in their head and they would just say the word aloud. For example, with this word, they would sound out in their heads and then just say, enjoy. Sound buttons. These are used when we teach children to read new words. A dot is used to show a sound represented by a single letter and a line is used to show a digraph or a trigraph, which is two or three letters representing one sound. When we introduce the children to new words, we show them the word with sound buttons on, which helps them to identify the sounds within it. They look carefully at the word and identify any special friends or chatty friends, and then they sound out the word carefully. If they were going to read this word, they would say m i s t a k mistake. One of the activities we do with the children is to ask them to draw their own sound buttons. They look carefully at the word and first they need to check if there are any special or chatty friends. In this word, there are two special friends, u and er. Uh. They would draw a line to show these and then they have the letter f which is a single sound, so they draw a dot to represent this. When we teach the children to write new words, we use Fred fingers. This is a strategy that helps the children to segment the words and count how many sounds they have in them. For example, if we took the word sheep and segmented this, it would be sh-e-p. So there's three sounds. The children would then pinch each sound on their finger. Sh E -p. We then ask the children to trace each sound on their finger. When they have done this, they're ready to write the word. They would write sh e p. Another activity that we do with the children is to sort words into real and alien. Alien words are words that have been made up and the children often find these words harder to read. The children would have a list of words like this, would ask them to add the sound buttons to them to help them read it, like this, and then they would sort the words according to if they are real or alien, like this. When the children have learned all the phase five sounds and they are confident with all their sounds, we then move on to sound families. They would have a sound family chart like this. Is a close-up of the vowel sound families from the sound family chart. A sound family is digraphs, trigraphs or single letters that all make the same sound. Here you will see a blue rectangle around the A sound family. When the children are ready to focus on sound families, we do lots of activities in class with them that helps them to apply these. I'm going to show you an activity now that focuses on the A sound family. The children would read the passage carefully and circle any words that had the A, digraph or split digraph in them. I have circled all the words that have these in them. We would then check this together as a class. Now I'm going to go through a sound family activity where the children apply this in their writing. I'm going to focus on the I sound family. The children would read the sentences carefully and each picture represents a different I word. They need to write the word correctly by selecting the correct digraph, trigraph or single letter that makes the I sound. They would then rewrite the sentences including these words. When they have completed this they would then check this and all the I words would be shown on the board. Here are some ideas of how you can help your child at home. Help your child learn the tricky words by playing games like pears and snap. 
Encourage your child to look for the special friends to help them read new words. Ask your child to reread the sentence to make sense of what they have read. This is really important as children often use to, need to use their sounds to sound out new words. Once they have done this, it's important to reread the sentence with fluency so that they can understand what they have read. Encourage your child to segment the word to help them write it and include all the sounds. This is where you can support your child to use Fred fingers so they can count each sound within the word. Play phonics games. Here is a list of useful phonics websites. Thank you for listening. I hope you have found this helpful. If you have any questions, please send an email to the email address below. Thank you.